Principles of Sports Nutrition. As physically active individuals and athletes engaged in a great variety of sports, we are constantly subject to the risk of injury, whether it's in the gym, on the ice, outside, on the field, or in the pool. It's written in to the behavior. Although prevention is always the best medicine, and that's why alternative functional natural medicine is different or set above any other form of medicine. It's mostly about a consciousness of prevention. Prevent the disaster, you don't need to treat it. But in spite of that premise, accidents seem inevitable in sport and in certain sports where physical contact is part of the game such as rugby, boxing, wrestling, lacrosse, football, and hockey, injury caused by collision and direct impact is common. So even if someone doesn't try and hurt you intentionally, there still is a high risk of injury due to the nature of the sports as they are described in the sport itself in terms of how to play it correctly. In other sports such as the javelin throw, tennis or baseball for example, the elbow and shoulder joints are frequently injured due to excessive repetition and overuse and even the forces of nature that play on us in our sport can be highly destructive. For example, in sprinting, the forces that are involved in inertia and acceleration and torque are enormous and so one becomes susceptible to injury just by playing or engaging in almost any sport. Of course the greater the intensity as applied in the sport or skill training the higher the risk of injury. So as athletes we have to be really really smart. Now as a general observation with actual statistics to reinforce the position of this observation, male athletes tend to be more violent and physical in sport than females. As many of the sports men engage in favor male aggression and physical violence. In fact, it could be argued that men in some cases use the sport as a means to express their anger or violence. For example, in hockey, you can actually get into a public fist fight in front of tens of thousands of fans or millions of fans on television and not suffer the consequences of being charged with assault as you would normally if you went into a bar and got into a fist fight and punched somebody in the head several times and caused injury and damage and that person then could respond by charging you with assault and they would have a legal position, whereas that doesn't happen in the sports. And Of course, in many male sports, there's all kinds of examples of extreme violence that is not part of the game, it's not in the handbook or the rule book, and there's a deterrent in the sport called a penalty, which is applied to the individual that crosses the line and cheats or breaks one of the rules. Now, because injury is so common in sport, there has been a lot of effort that has gone into the evaluation and study of how these injuries occur and where they occur. So initially they've come up with a map of the human body that shows where the most common injuries are regionally distributed. For example, the most common injury in men is in the knee, followed by the eye, the foot, the back, and the ankle. Of course, the entire body is susceptible to injury. So by evaluating where these common injuries are regionally distributed and concentrated, that can help give us clues to learn how to protect the body against injury and how to control the sport and modify the rules of the game so that less damage is caused to the athlete. The purpose of sport is not to cause injury or damage to the athletes. The purpose of sport, according to every rule book on every sport in the world, is also not to win. Find any rule book and look at it, you won't find that the purpose to find is to win. The purpose is to score points according to the rules. And that is why I liken life to a sport. 
that life is a sport and the purpose of the sport of life is to play according to the rules not to win but to score points and the way you score points in life is to build up points towards your health your function longevity wellness that is when you know that you are winning and moving towards what it would be considered a more virtuous approach and a sportsmanlike approach in the sport of life.